The month is November. The location, Las Vegas. And the protagonist, a professional limo driver. Now, he's more than a little unhinged. He decides to start harassing and sending death threats to a lawyer, whom we think was going to represent his defense for this incident. If you've ever seen this TikTok, that's our boy doing donuts and driving backwards down the Las Vegas Strip. Anyway, fast forward three weeks. It's like six in the morning and this guy is already doing donuts at a car park near the airport. Then he decides to drive from the car park into the airport itself. Offense? No problem. He drives right through it and onto the runway. He's just driving around, whizzing between planes, almost crashing several times before eventually parking on a ramp. At this point, he jumps out, puts on a clown mask, and storms right up to a private jet. He announces, aggressively, to the flight staff that there is a bomb in his limo. Quote, I have a fucking bomb. I'm going to blow this place up. His plan? To commandeer this private jet and take it to Area 51. However, as sound as this plan was, the quick response by police meant that it wasn't really working out. So, he bails back to his limo, tries to make an escape, until eventually police catch up with him. At that point, he is quickly arrested. They take him in for questioning, and he starts telling them, that's right, I did it to see the aliens. He also told them to refer to him as the chosen one. And by the way, I have high security clearance. Also, I'm involved with the mob, and someone owes me millions of dollars. Later on, the bomb defusal crew checks out the limo and determines that it's just a fire extinguisher with a bunch of wires and duct tape and some fairy lights. Now, at some point, he gets out, presumably on bail, and CNN reporters walk up to him and start asking him questions. No, no statements from me, he says, but you should talk to my lawyer. And then he proceeds to hand them the business card of the lawyer that he's been sending death threats to for the last three weeks. Amazing. After all that, the judge ordered that he be sent to a mental hospital for assessment. Or so they say. Ooh, how convenient. 